Forgiveness, big word. And it's usually accompanied with, I can forgive, but I can't forget. Let's see if we can't change the memory. Because what we're saying is here, I'm gonna forgive you, but when the memory comes up, I'm gonna still have these attached feelings to the memory. Somebody does something to you, we've all had this happen. Situation comes up and you wanna forgive. A Couple of things to help to do that. Compassion, I think is number one. We must remember that all human beings, all of us are suffering in many different ways, all the time. And no matter what that person has done, keep in mind to have compassion for them because they also are suffering. Maybe not the same way you are, but in a different way, daily, moment by moment, we are suffering. Aging, sickness, and death is coming for all of us. So have compassion for this person or this situation and think, I don't know what's going on in that person's home or that person's mind. What are they going through that caused this or they said this thing, right, to forgive? Kindness. Kindness is another big one, right? Let's think of being kind to this situation with a clear mind, not an agitated mind. Keep in mind that we must have a clear mind to really forgive somebody. Not agitated and all of our thoughts going thousands of miles a minute to really just calm the mind and think of forgiveness. How can we get there? Through compassion, through kindness, and we move on. But we say, oh, but I'm gonna remember this. When that memory comes up, we must remember the kindness and the compassion for the person, not the action. If we can forgive and the memory comes up that we say we cannot forget, maybe we can forget the negative feelings that were attached to that memory that comes up that we don't forget. What if we turned it and now it's more compassionate and kind with a clear mind, that memory that comes up instead of the negative memory. Then we can say, I can forgive and I've changed the memory.